Uh, okay, uh, I'm assuming you're looking at this because you're interested in doing A-level design technology uh, next year uh, in September. Um, I'm going to talk you through some of the things that we do and some of the points. I definitely can't answer all the questions. Hopefully, well, in fact, you have to have done a design technology GCSE, so you'll know a little bit about it. I should think many of you have done it with uh, me, um, so we will have talked about it. Uh, why, first thing I'm going to say, why would you choose A-level DT? What's the point of it? Uh, well, there's lots of good reasons to do it. Um, our students tend to want to use it for a career, so we have students that uh, are product designers now uh, or studying product design. We have students that have gone into automobile design, theatre design, fashion, graphic design, engineering, all sorts of things. So there are many, many careers and jobs you can do with DT. Uh, but uh, you might just want to do it for pleasure because you like making things and you want to develop um, those sort of potential within yourself. Uh, a lot of people will be doing it because uh, it's going to give them some UCAS points because uh, mostly you'll be doing three A-levels or three different subjects and um, maybe your A-level economics is your number one um, top priority. Well, you still need two other subjects and we think that um, we're quite happy to have people that are choosing it because they enjoy it, but really they're going to go and do chemistry or um English or something like that. So uh, you can give you a breadth and a different type of education along with, um, uh, you know, your A-level maths or whatever else you're doing. So it will give you UCAS points. Um, one of the most important things is that we develop a different set of skills to most of those other things. We'll develop skills of analysis and creativity and um, soft skills as well as the practical stuff which people know about which are making things but the analysis and, and uh, investigation and the ability to do a long-term task not just one exam question something that's going to take you a whole year to develop i think that's a really important skill and it's a more like a real life skill useful for jobs okay uh, what's the course uh, people that have been to charter for gcse will be familiar with the exam board it's educas um, if you've done a different GCSE, because you come from a different school for your uh, Key Stage 4, you'll find uh, the content will progress from your uh, GCSE quite smoothly, and a lot of the stuff you'll be able to carry over and will be useful for A-level. Um, all A-levels and in this subject are 50% exam and 50% coursework. We chose EDUCAS because um, we like their teaching materials more than that later. Um, also, it's only one exam, which we felt was more straightforward than some of the other exam boards. It is three hours, so that's pretty tough. It's a big challenge, but um, our students so far have done quite well at it. Uh, again, there's 50% coursework, one piece of coursework developed over the whole course, and it will be developed by you. And I'll talk about that a bit later. And that's obviously normally the thing that most people are interested in. It's what helps them get into uh, colleges and uh, use for their portfolio and other things. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna talk about the exam. And uh, what should you think that you'll be doing in the exam? Um, well, this isn't the place to get exactly into the specification, but you'll find that a lot of stuff is similar to what you did in GCSE not quite as diverse. You won't have to worry about electronics or mechanisms. Uh, EDUCAS have it split into six different booklets. Um, they're all available digitally. I'll see if I can um, show one of them. Uh, what we like is that they amount to a textbook and you can use them uh, on your computer or digitally, but we will print them off and give you about a booklet copy. And that's really useful because you can annotate, you can write on it and make your notes and use it to revise from. And uh, we like them because they're straightforward. Uh, many textbooks are rather over full. And um, anyway, I'll give you a flavor. Here's one of them. Let's have a look at it. This is one, uh, industrial and commercial practices and processes. Um, uh, short paragraph sections. Um, illustrated, 
which will have to build into knowledge you can use to answer exam questions, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, let's scroll right to the end so you can see how long this is. This is one of the longer ones and 22 pages, um, which I think is not too much for um, anyone. Anyway, um, there's six of those booklets, also a very useful book of mind maps, which will help you to revise the whole course as you go along. 15% uh, of the exam is maths, okay? And if you're scared of that, uh, I'm afraid you're choosing the wrong course. Uh, but don't worry, you haven't got to be an A-level maths person. The maths shouldn't go beyond what you did at GCSE. And because you're choosing A-levels, we know that you've passed GCSE maths. Um, Here's a typical question, and I'm not going to go over it now, but if you're interested in um, seeing uh, if you can still remember it, pause this video and um, uh, see if you can still figure this out. Um, if you did a GCSE, which you have to anyway in design technology, you will have answered some questions with maths in the exam paper. Um, in fact, I know you haven't, sorry about that, but you will have done some in mocks and that kind of thing. Um, anyway, pause this and see if you can figure it out if you're uh, interested. This is one of the type of things that you might have to answer. So just imagine you're pausing it. Looks at his watch. Uh, here's the stuff that uh, people tend to be really interested in, which is uh, coursework. Um, we won't make you start your coursework straight away because we like to get to know you and also uh, get used to um, A-level teaching and um, check your skills. So we'll do um, a fun activity to get started. Uh, recently, we've been making furniture out of pallets and such like. Uh, you'll have to do some of the skills that you need in your coursework not all of them and we'll do this in the first half term and then we'll have some a week of workshop stuff um, uh, here's an example from uh, last year this is um, two students working together this was their introductory project uh, they're both actually now at uh, Design College studying either art or, or Rosie is studying uh, product design at Rutherford, which is one of the best places in the country to do this stuff. And as you can see, it's a PowerPoint uh, presentation. Good to get some drawing practice in here. And something we really, really like in our course is model making. Of course, you need to use some CAD. Hopefully, you've got some CAD experience from your GCC. you got the idea of that um, what can you actually do what do you actually have to do well um, one thing I would like to make really clear is that it's not just about making something and um, you will be get your grade hopefully a good one on being able to do all the things that the designer does so although we love making stuff and to be honest that's why um, we're DT teachers, uh, you have to do these skills as well and um, only part of that is making. Making is a big part of the marks, I think it's 25% for making and 25% for designing. Um, but analysing and thinking, all exams require thinking skills, uh, planning certainly because it's a whole year of your life working on this, um, lots of designing. Um, I should mention drawing uh, because if you're the type of person who doesn't like to draw, um, you need to think carefully about whether you want to do the course. 
You don't have to be brilliant at drawing, but you have to give it a really good go and be prepared to develop your skills. Um, as I said before, lots of model making. Um, people make all sorts of different things. I won't go over all the different ones. You could look on our YouTube channel. Um, I'll put a link at the end um, in case you want to have a look at projects that other students have done. But everything, engineering, model making, um, garden stuff, a lot of furniture people like, jewellery, um, something I'm very interested in. We've had, uh, had a guitar this year. Um, there's a doll's house, uh, rather lovely. Um, furniture, always very uh, important and very um, uh, popular. And uh, to be honest, you can always make something new, even if you've never made a piece of furniture before. Um, again, there's another one, an adjustable chair. Uh, before I go into the summer homework, I'm going to um, show you a piece of coursework talk through in a little bit more detail. Uh, this is someone from last year. He's now an architect or trained to be an architect. It could be many years before he finishes his training. This is the type of thing you do if you want to get an A grade. You will have to look at lots of different opportunities for designing, um, different um, in areas to investigate before you settle on the project you want to do. So Louis looked at things in the school and um, in his garden and uh, um, uh, something to do with bicycles because he works in a bike shop. So he looked, you can see he looked at bike stuff um, and he settled on furniture and a chair, uh, lots of analysis, this kind of thing, mind mapping you might be familiar with from GCSE, research, great deal of research. Um, uh, design specification is something you'll be familiar with, uh, hopefully from GCSE. Uh, and the, I show the drawing and the designing because uh, the, ch the charter, we like to have our design work to be a mixture of stuff. And um, Louis works good, but you can see that, you know, he's not the world's greatest draftsman or artist and he's still good enough to get an A grade. The key thing is to do lots of drawing and gradually improve from things that are very basic to looking better. Of course, we don't just do drawing. Um, we like to use uh, CAD and computer-aided design. A lot of modelling, you know, that's a pretty basic start to modelling there. I think um, lots of people do a little bit better than that. But um, sketch up, drawing, he, he did. Um, some better drawings, lolly sticks, and using our laser cutter, I think, there. Um, uh, CAD, uh, by this stage, I think Louis was probably getting quite good at, at SketchUp, which hopefully he'll be able to use in his architecture course. Um, a lot of measurements, still doing research, uh, testing processes, modeling. By this stage, you're thinking, blimey, this looks like a lot of work. Uh, well, it is a lot of work, but you've got a whole year to do it. And don't forget, in A-level, you've only got three subjects. So you're not having to do eight other subjects. You're just doing three subjects. and You're probably spending half your DT lessons every week working on this stuff um, and the other half working on the exam. Um, anyway, working out measurements, full size. We like realistic uh, research. You can see um, Oscar down there being measured for how big this chair was going to be. And final planning, um, there's lots of making, lots of stuff went on in the workshop. And I would say that Louis' chair went completely wrong and didn't work. And uh, we had to start again and, and came up with a different plan. And uh, this time we uh, managed to sort it out. Uh, by the way, if that happens to your project, it's not necessarily a bad thing because you learn a lot from mistakes and figuring out what works and what doesn't work. Um, Let's look at the final piece. There we are. There's the final piece. Looks lovely. And it was very good. Um, a particular thing I liked was it was held together with zip ties, a really strong, reliable method of making furniture. And there's his evaluation and some suggestions for improvement. Um, that's a whole year's work, though. So, um, And I think Louis could be very proud of that. OK, um, if you're going to do a summer, come to us, you must do the summer homework. A proper printed copy will be on the school um, website. Uh, 
we've asked you to do some product analysis and there are some detailed criteria for the kind of things you discuss. So there's two things about this. One thing is um, drawing. Okay, you will need to draw something in detail, more than one view, I would say. Uh, and we're looking at people analysing something that plays music. Okay, I will be a bit bored if it's just an iPhone, because basically it's just a rectangle with rounded corners. Um, so look around your house, see if there's anything else that plays music, um, and you can discuss it in detail. So we're looking at how you can talk about products and also how you can draw them. You, know, you can do this electronically, um, which a lot of you are familiar with, or the old-fashioned way, which is perfectly good on a piece of paper. Um, I've said A3 paper, but um, I know what it's like working at home at the moment. If you've got several bits of paper uh, stuck together, that's probably fine. Um, to conclude, if you're not sure whether this course is for you or you want to ask any questions about it, um, email me. Okay. Um, Generally, we want someone that's done design technology GCSE and has a six or above. Um, if you went to charter, I know your work pretty well, so um, I can definitely say, and, and, and in fact, I have had conversations with lots of you, so I can say um, what kind of thing, uh, you know, or answer any questions or, you know, say whether you're suited or not. Um, main qualification is enthusiasm. Uh, have a nice summer. Please get in touch if you've got any questions about this.